Again, how do we describe relationships? First, it can be the strength. And second, the direction. If we talk about strength, it could be having no relationship or no correlation, or it's very low, the relationship is moderately low, moderately high, very high, or we have what we call a perfect relationship. The second is, we describe a relationship through its direction. We ask, what is the direction? Is it positive or negative? Let's talk about the three directions of correlation. It can be positive, negative, or zero. It is a positive correlation if it, the slope points upward or it rises to the right. It happens when one variable increases when the other variable also increases. For example, when you increase your study time, your grades will also increase. If you decrease your study time, your grades will also decrease. You check as one variable increases, the other variable also increases. And that is a positive correlation. The second is the relationship's direction can be negative correlation. It happens when one variable increases, the other variable decreases. Let's go back to our first question. Why does savings increase when expenses decrease? So, when you decrease your expenses, you increase your savings. But when you increase your expenses, you decrease your savings. That is an inverse variation. And that is a negative correlation. But when one variable increases and the other may increase or may decrease, then we call that a zero correlation. Here's how you check the graph in these three directions. The first one, the slope is going down. So it's a negative correlation. The second one, you could not see a trend. So that's a zero correlation. The third one, the dots are going up. So it signifies a positive correlation. How about the strength of the correlation? The strength of the correlation may be perfect, very high, moderately high, moderately low, very low, or zero. I would say there's no correlation. To check its strength, we need to draw a trend line, or some call it line of best fit. This is the line closest to the points. Actually, it's not the connect the dots. You need to draw a line. The line may or may not pass through all the points, but it is the closest line to the points. The direction of the line tells the direction of the correlation. So if the line goes up, it's positive correlation. If the line goes down, it's negative. The knots next. So I told you, if the line, if the trend line points to the right or it goes up, the slope is positive. So there is a positive correlation. If the line points to the left or it goes down, its slope is negative. And there is a negative correlation. Another is, the closer the points are to the line, the stronger the relationship is. Again, the direction of the line tells you of the direction of the relationship. But how close are the points to the line tells us of the strength of the relationship. For example, this one. You check. This is, I manually draw the line. But using an online scatter plot generator, this is its perfect trend line. So you see, it's not that close, but it's not that far. If you check the line, it rises to the right. So we say there is a positive correlation. But how close are the points of the line? Again, not so close, but not so far. So you can see there's a moderate relationship. For negative correlation, this could be the three. The last one is a perfect negative correlation. If you draw the trend line, all the points will pass through the trend line. The one in the middle has a strong negative correlation. If you draw a trend line, 
almost all of the points would pass by the line. The third one is a negative correlation, but it's a weak one. Some are scattered, some are too far, while some are too near. Here are some different illustrations of the strength of the correlation based on the trend line. The first one is a strong positive correlation. The second is a weak, it's at far. The third has a strong negative, almost all points are in. The water low where part is a weak negative, the middle that's a moderate negative, and the last one has no correlation. A perfect correlation exists when all the points fall in the trend line. A perfect correlation may be positive or negative. As what I told a while ago, a perfect correlation happens when, once you draw a trend line, all the points are in the trend line or the line of best fit. For example, in this first one, all the points are in the trend line. The line rises to the right. So we say that this has a perfect positive correlation. In this one, all the line, all the points are in the line. But the line drops or it rises to the left. So we say that this problem has a perfect negative correlation. That ends our topic for today.